Hello, hello, hello. All right, is this gonna work with me tonight? <laughs> well, let's start broadcasting the screen there. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> How is everyone doing tonight? <laughs> My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is our Wednesday night live. We uh, come to you every Wednesday night, and we focus on drawing a portrait. So if you're part of our Facebook group, um, on Wednesday morning, we uh, I will post a couple different portraits and let the whole group uh, vote on which one they want. And so this, this fine-looking gentleman is the one that we all agreed upon and voted on. He got the most votes. And so this is what we're going to uh, take a look at tonight. Uh, speaking of Facebook, um, I just wanted to tell you that we do have this great Facebook group. The link is down in the description. So if you're not part of a group and are looking for a really active uh, community, I recommend that you join us. Uh, we have all kinds of great things that are going on there from drawing challenges to extra classes that you could take and just a great place to encourage one another and all that uh, stuff that we all need right as we're walking on this journey also uh, down below I do have a link for a free class it's called the beginners workshop this is a class that's going to set you up for success teaching you how to draw all the main volumes that you would need in order to uh, really excel at drawing so oh look at that <clears throat> okay so anyways let's let's go ahead and get started here tonight and what I want to do is before we get started um, let's look at a couple things in close detail and I thought that might be a good place so let's I'm gonna zoom in here onto his face to start off here and we'll just go ahead and do this because if we if we look closely at a couple features, I think that will help you in the long run of knowing how to uh, to draw them and think, in, think of these things more with a certain amount of volume, okay? Hey, look at that, Russell's in, Russell's in the house. Hello, Russell, good morning. Good morning, <laughs> and Joe is watching. Excellent, who's watching? John's checking in, that's right. Okay, we've got our community. <laughs> Look, did you just did you just hear the tone of my voice elevate as soon as I saw you guys chime in? <laughs> it makes it so much more fun when we have a group that is uh, trying to accomplish this. So, anyways, let's let's start off with his eye here. And first thing I want you to do is just uh, when I draw eyes, whether whether they are for. Uh, a uh, portrait that is looking straight on or a three-quarter view or a side view I like to draw the eyeball and reason why I like doing that is it really gives me a sense of wrapping it around hey look at that John Morris is in the house great welcome oh, oh it's Jacqueline I'm sorry Jacqueline Gibson so you're using someone else's uh, email great I love it <laughs> so if we have the eyeball like we do here um, a lot of times it's easier for me to visualize this idea of an eyelid wrapping around it. So with that being said, let's let's come in here with a small mark here and and just kind of what we're going to do is gauge or estimate how much look at this. There is there is the front of his eye right there and that's how much how much of his eye is showing. So we really don't want to show too much when we're going to draw this eyeball. And we're just going to do this as a quick warm up or sketch. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the skin is wrapping around that side there and it's coming around like this. Okay. <clears throat> and his, this uh, eyelid is overlapping. Then, then we have a little, little skin that comes like this. And we have a second, second part that's coming back. You see that? <clears throat> and then, I'm so glad, Joe, you like this. Excellent. And then the skin is wrapping 
on top of the uh, that eyeball right there. And then we could when then we could come around. So now this this really gives us a sense of the of the skin wrapping around the eyeball. All right, let's get the bottom part here. And now just make sure don't show too much. So this is going to wrap around there like this. <clears throat> it's going to come down just ever so slightly the front there. And then I can see that he has this underside, a slight of a bag coming in here, just like this. All right, let's go ahead and get this, uh, the pupil in place. And then he's going to have his eyelash that I'm just going to go straight out like this. And then of course, you're going to want to make sure you tone this in quite a bit. His whites, the white of his eye isn't quite as white as you would think it is. Okay, let's take a look at his nose here now, and we're going to draw his nose separately. <clears throat> and and when we draw his nose, I want you to realize that it's almost like um, a pyramid in that uh, it's it's coming up like this, and then we have an underside just like this. So this is like a folded piece of paper. So let's let's go ahead and just kind of quickly gesture this in. And I'm I'm looking at the uh, overall shape. And we'll drop a quick tone underneath here. Try and make it as even as possible. Okay, now let's let's take a minute, slow down, and think about this this wing that we're looking at. And if I was to draw, watch this now. This is this is the part of the wing that's closest to me. Then it circles around, and and this is further back. You see that? And this comes up and now we can draw the uh, drop some of the negative space in there Now look look closely I want to show you something here right here where this where the the shadow area comes in contact with the lighter area we want to drop a little bit of a shadow right along that edge now you may not it may not be clear in our picture but this is going to create a sense of, of reflective light underneath. So typically when I'm drawing a nose of some sort, this is the front on view. I want to darken this little edge there and that causes this reflective light to come in here. Okay.
All right. There is his basic nose. <clears throat> I'm going to erase this now. I just remove it for the time being. And then I'm going to get rid of that picture and bring in a new one. There he is. Now, now we're ready to draw the whole face. Before we do that, one last thing I want to show you is some general proportions. Okay. <clears throat> and these are general. And you can find these anywhere on the internet, but uh, let me just kind of walk you through them here. Um, one of the key one of the key marks I always look for when I'm drawing a portrait is the uh, is the temple, and you could use your you could use your fingers and find that find that uh, right here with your fingers. You could feel the little the little nodes. Okay, so. This is something that when one might call, they often call these landmarks. Landmarks are areas on the body that are consistent amongst everybody. And to find the temples, uh, this is in every single head. So it's really important to grab that, to be aware of where that is. Because we'll use that as a landmark, as a place to measure from. So typically when we are drawing a uh, from the temple there, you're going to get this uh, a circular motion that goes right around the head, just like this. And then you have this, then you have a larger area that follows the shape of the skull. But this, the center disc, per se, And then you can drop a, a cross section through that disc. And then usually your ear will sit right, right in there. You could create a flat line like this coming down. drop just a little bit there for the jaw and then this sweeps around just like this right along the top of the ear the ear you could write down lines up usually with the brow line or the eye so why don't I write some notes down for you so we go top of ear to either the eye or brow line. Okay, this is the brow line. That's the brow line and that's the, that's the eye. Bottom of the ear usually will line up with the bottom of the nose. Bottom of ear lines up with the bottom of the nose. <clears throat> okay, let's keep this, let's try and keep this as simple as possible here. Bottom of the nose to bottom of the chin. If you divide this into thirds, okay, thirds, you can get the the center of the mouth and the and where the chin starts the top of the chin okay <clears throat> and the last thing is if you go to the top of the ear so let me write that down as well so a thirds thirds from the bottom of the nose 
to the bottom of the chin. <clears throat> and the last measurement I want to show you is the cheekbone. And usually that will run from the top of the ear. And if you just do a curve to the bottom of the nose, you can usually find where the cheekbone goes. So those are our basic, our basic proportions. And let me write that down too. To find the cheekbone, goes from top of the ear, bottom of the nose. So how do I use these things when I'm drawing? You memorize them. You memorize these arrangements. So you may not put all these down all the time, but they're so embedded in your head that as you're drawing a portrait, whether it's a profile or a straight on, you can remember these, um, these constructions. All right, John just says he loves these guidelines. Yeah, and remember this idea, remember this idea Construction leads to likeness. Whenever I draw any type of portrait, I never try and get the person's likeness. That, I take that out of my mind altogether. My aim is to get their construction. Because if you focus on the construction, first of all, it will take the pressure off you. And secondly, the likeness will just fall into place. And the more and more you do that, you're gonna find it just easier um, easier to get shading, easier to get all these different um, uh, masses all into place, okay? All right, so let's let's get on to this big boy here and, and get rid of these things. I'm just going to uh, uh, turn that off and I'll start with a new. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready to get this party started? <laughs> How about that? There's a little dad dance for you, right? <laughs> All right, let's let's start with the overall overall oval for his head. Oops. And why did that stop? Okay, let's keep going here. It's all good. Hold on there. There it goes. software malfunction but everything's looking good there all right here we go okay so I erased I erased my page there and let's start with an overall oval for his head okay and right now I'm gonna guesstimate where this temple is and then I'm gonna put it right there and then we're gonna draw another circle Draw all this very as light as you possibly can. Hold your pencil lightly, okay? Let's cross that, cut that down there in the center and keep this light. We're gonna come down straight just like this. <clears throat> all right, so now with, with all this being said, we have a pretty good idea where his ear is going to go. And it's slightly, look at his ear, it's slightly at a tilt. So let's put this ear in here. Okay. <clears throat> now I've determined that this is going to be his temple. And if you look closely at our picture, the eye is going to be roughly just right in front of that temple. You see that? And I'm just going to put a light mark down on the page right now for that. Bottom of the ear, go out to the front here, 
almost lines up, but it's a slightly higher. I'm, lo I'm looking at the photograph. This is about where my nose is going to be. I'm going to drop down, drop down for the corner of my jaw. And what I'm, what I'm going to do now, this is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a shape to help me determine, uh, let me show you the shape I'm kind of visualizing in my head right now. So. I'm going from here. I'm looking at that. I'm going like this. Almost like this, something like this. This is what I'm visualizing in my head, okay? Because I want to find out where the bottom of that chin is. So, looking at that, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to come down here like this top of that right about there I think that's that's kind of my shape that I'm looking for <clears throat> all right I'm going to put my eyeball in here Help me visualize that. Bottom, bottom of that ear. It's going to take me to the bottom of my nose right there. And then, like I said before, we're going to drop this down into th roughly thirds here from the bottom of the nose. We're focused on construction, okay? Focusing on the construction. Okay, remembering our experience with drawing the eye, let's go ahead in here now and, and kind of work some of this out, okay? So I'm going to start with my uh, upper eyelid. And I don't want to show too much, but I'm going to wrap, wrap that around just like that. Let's get that next little piece of folded skin there. Just like that. A lot of times we have the habit of overdrawing, like making eyes bigger than they actually are. Get that... Uh, lower eyelid there <clears throat> and then I'm going to drop the pupil on there and his eyelash and it's just almost like a straight, thick line, just like that. <clears throat> okay, now this is interesting. I've kind of, I made a, a slight error in that I probably pushed the eye too far back, but I can fix that. That's why we draw lightly. So let's get the inside. I'm For mine, I'm, this is gonna be the new inside part of his uh, his nose there you see that and I'm just going to bring this whole face back in slightly yours may not look like that but uh, I just want to make this small adjustment this is why I'm I'm thinking of construction here okay all right 
Let's get the uh, outside part of his nose here. Has a bit of a curve there. Then we're gonna come in. Now, this is interesting. Look at this. I'm gonna to go to a new page here. So, there's the tip of his nose, you see that? There is the negative, where like the negative space comes at the start, and there's the back of his nose. It's almost like as much as nose is sticking out from his face, it goes back. So we wanna, we wanna be mindful of that. All right, so if, I, if I'm gonna come in here like this, then I'm gonna come all the way back here. All right, and let's... Get that wing there. we doing let's get this uh, eyebrow in here okay and I'm looking at the negative space and I'm right now I'm just going to tone this in lightly And then he has a little bit of his other eyebrow showing up right about there. Okay. Let's this, uh, this top part here. This is going to be where his lips are. All right. So let's, let's bring this out just a little bit. A bit of a slant coming in like this. All right, let's get those bottom lips in. There's your other third right there. And then his chin. <clears throat> Let's look at this measurement. Look at this measurement I see. Right there, right there where the chin comes in contact with the neck you see that let's let's draw a vertical line straight up and down not, not draw it but just visualize see where that that's gonna come to the back of his eye so that's something I'm keeping in the back of my mind here so back of his eye right about there <clears throat> these are all the things that um, I'm looking for whenever I'm drawing, especially a portrait, I'm looking for visual things that I can line things up and get a good idea. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get this uh, forehead over here. I'm gonna carve a little bit more away than I originally had. Then let's look at this. I'm going to put his hairline in, or just just give me something that I can uh, continue to help make some measurements by.
Okay, I'm going to get his jawline in just roughly. Okay, I'm going to come down here with a little drop there at his jaw and bring this around into his into his chin. Drop that down a little bit and then line those line those ideas up right there. And we can even drop a little bit of tone in there if we want. And I'm going to drop some tone in underneath his nose. <clears throat> okay, let's let's take another measurement here. Look at this. Look where his hair is. His hair lines up right with like almost where his eye is. You see that? Let's get that in place. All right, so that hair lines up right about there. Okay. Looking good. <clears throat> Let's get this mustache in maybe, huh? All right, so let's get the angle right. It's going to curve around. And let's just add a flat tone to that as well. And I'm going to do the same for the uh, mustache, or the little stash right underneath his chin there. Okay, so let's look at this now. <clears throat> See, all we're doing is just looking at measurements and see all right so let's let's determine where that is and see what that lines up with the bottom where his hair is and if i just kind of think of a vertical coming through it almost lines up with the uh, that's not quite flat there it is that's a better one They're right through the middle of his chin you see that So through the middle of his chin, okay, we're, we're looking good. That's going to be the bottom of his hair. <clears throat> and let's, let's roughly drop his hair in, but let me, just an outline of it. But before you do, I want to do this. I want to show you this. Look, look at this shape. Okay. See that shape there? That's what we're looking for, okay? All right, so that's where we're going to start there. Keep it keep it light. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's let's keep moving forward. Let's get these glasses in. Glasses are exciting. <clears throat> now, let's look closely at these glasses because if we draw them like this, oh, let me change this to be this. Yep. 
If we draw them like this, they're too symmetrical. They're actually kind of the oval is like going like this way. You see that? And it's a little bit even wider than that. So that's about what we're well, that's what we're looking for. And it's going to be, we're going to start that right in front of his eye. Look closely now. And it's going to go in this direction. So let's do that. Okay. And then and then the other part, the other lens is is much lower. See how much lower that is? I'm drinking tea tonight. Woo! <laughs> All right, let's continue on now. I'm going to darken that in just a little bit. Darken this in over here. So now with the... Uh, <clears throat> Look at, look at his eye region now. So I'm going to just tone. I'm going to give myself a little bit of tone in here. And get this underside there just a little bit. Okay. Continuing on, let's get this. Let's work on this scarf because this gives us an opportunity to work on some some folds of the skin in or of the of the scarf here. So in order to do this, I'm going to make my picture just a little bit smaller. Erase this. Now, if you did not leave room to draw your scarf. You could draw it just on another, you could just turn your page over and just draw it in a different area. But let's, let's not think of curves here. Let's try and create this scarf, just kind of roughing in some straight lines. So there's the, and I'm just thinking of this first part, the folded area as one shape coming in. Okay. And then I got the other shape coming in here and I'm just going to use straight lines because those are a little bit more easier to get a sense of uh, mass okay so look at this this is interesting Look at this negative space. You see this? Now I'm using negative space. So that, that is amount of negative space I should be having. That's how far out I should take my scarf. So I think mine needs to come out a little bit further. And then same thing in the back here. Let's, this is going to come down just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, now, drawing this folded. Here's, here's the trick in drawing. When you're going to draw fabric, you've got to really focus. <laughs> you've got to really concentrate. If you go quickly, you've got to give fabric as much attention as you would as an eye or a mouth or a nose. Okay, so let's look at this closely and trust what you see and not what you think. So let's start right here. We got, we got his neck down. 
First thing is I can see that this fabric's folding in on itself. And then I see another piece coming in this way. You see this? And then I'm looking at this little hook here. Now I'm going to use some surface lines. Got to pay attention on this. Looking for shape. Trust the process. This is going to be all toned a little bit. Well, now you're all excited that you decided to, to draw this one here. I didn't know I was going to make you draw this scarf. Coming around here, I got really quiet there for a minute. You're some of you are like, finally, finally he shuts up. Shut up, Kurt. Let's just draw. <clears throat> okay, coming along nicely with their gentleman here. Let's go ahead and darken in. I'm going to get this uh, mustache in here, a little more darker value. Top of the lip is going to have a bit of a tone to it, so I want to drop that in as well. He's got his uh, beard at the bottom. Squinting my eyes, so this is also going to be in shadow down here.
Okay, let's go ahead and get this uh, ear in here. All right, let's work on this ear here. And outside of the ear is like a big letter C. Inside of the ear is like a question mark. And then we want to put the Y of the ear in. Small, small Y. And if you're not sure about how to draw the ear, I have a sheet I'm happy to share with you. So when we get back into uh, just leave me a note in Facebook and I will happily share that with you. Okay, lastly, let's work on this hair because this hair is going to uh, really sell this, sell this uh, guy to us. So back of his head, let's let's get the let's start working. Let's just kind of make our way around the edge of his hair here. Make sure that we give him those nice curls. And then in this whole area, I'm going to be very methodical in making sure that <clears throat> this area is very dark. I don't want any paper to show through. Okay, let's curve this around a little bit. He's got the, I think what I'm gonna do next is just the tone lightly tone the rest of his hair in. We're going to go back over this with darker value, but this will Give us something to ground with, so our papers and so we can eliminate a lot of high contrast in this area. It'll be a little more subtle. Okay, now I'm just going to start going into his hair here and start start working it. I'm looking for these certain curls and then following that with patches of, of groups of dark value of his head <clears throat> of course there's curls coming over his ear here just a little bit his hair And even as you get the outside part of his hair here, you can even put some lighter strokes. 
because the hair is sort of transparent back there. You see that? Some use S curves. Coming up on our top of the hour here. I'm going to drop an overall tone, I think, on his entire face. Going to drop some more tone in, especially uh, where I put his cheekbone in. Okay, how's everyone doing out there? Anyone who's all still awake? Hmm? Or did I put you to sleep? Okay. Look at our guy here. I think he's come out. He's coming out quite nice. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for tonight. We're coming up on this uh, uh, 60 minute mark. And I'm looking at any questions. Nope. We're still, st you guys are still hanging in there, watching what we're doing. So please uh, give the video a thumbs up and all that great stuff. And uh, man, I can't wait to see some of your work in. Uh, our Facebook group and I'm gonna do one more thing down here I'm gonna tone in this entire sweatshirt scarf squint my eyes there those and this probably needs to come in also And I'm just, I'm just overall looking at my values here. <clears throat> and 
and then the uh, these the wire part of the glasses right about like that any questions thank you Kurt all right yes how do I get this skin darker please well did I just did I just explain that to you Joe I'm just gonna go over just a tone overall very light even tone and that might mean you may have to go back in and darken some of these shadow areas Okay, that's it for tonight. I think I'm going to uh, call that a night. I think everyone did a great job. Can't wait to see your stuff. Thanks for watching. My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Post your work on Facebook. Let's check that out. I'll see you guys later. Have a great night, everyone. Or morning, or wherever you might be. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye, everyone.